Sa na ng pandemya, kulang ng higit isang daang libong nurse sa Pilipinas. I'm going to turn now to that warning about a nurse shortage. 10,000 quit during the pandemic. A nurses group refutes the Philippine Health Department's claim the country faces a nurse shortage. Nurse attrition is an issue that does not only affect the Philippines but is considered a worldwide problem. Despite the lack of nurses in the area, the healthcare system still thrives. Have you ever wondered, how is this even possible? Good day, fellow researchers, College of Nursing and the University of St. Lasal Community. Speaking is Therese Anomanog and together with me are my group mates, Johanny Laloy, Julian Pabalan, Angel Kim Pabiona, and Admiral Tanes. Collectively, we are the student researchers from BSN3F Group 3B, presenting our study entitled lived experience of nurse administrators in managing high attrition rate in selected local hospitals. High turnover is a negative impact on the ability to meet patient demands and provide high quality care because it raises the cost of hiring and orienting new nurses resulted from the loss of experienced ones. The study aimed to explore the lived experiences of nurse administrators in managing high attrition rates in selected local hospitals. The phenomenological research design was used in the study to have an overview of how did the nurse attrition rates affect the hospital and how did they manage and find a solution to the existing crisis. Additionally, an in the interview method was used with open-ended questions then via Zoom and face-to-face. -face. There were six participants of the study from local, private, and public hospitals with high attrition rate. The participants were Lori, Lynn, AML, um, Nels, She, and Lady in White, who are all nurse administrators. Research instrument, a semi-structured interview was conducted with one participant at a time and combined a closed, open-ended inquiries, frequently with follow-up why or how questions, after the demographic profile of participants was obtained. Team 1, Fast Nurse Turnover. Subteam A, Search for Greener Pastures. Supported by the statement given by Lady in White, if they were asked, they would just go abroad for greener pastures, and that is one of the major risk factors as to why they leave. Subteam B, Nurse Stress and Burnout. Lady in White stated, one factor is that the nurses are tired and overwhelmed. Subteam C, Salary Insufficient. Now stated, the main reason would be low salary pay. Team 2, Inequitable Workforce Distribution. Subteam A, Reduce Staffing and Increased Overtime. This subteam can be best supported by Nell stated, Our capacity is about 20 patients. When you put it into census, sometimes there is only one nurse working in the ward. So the most patient, one nurse will receive 15 to 20 patients, and that's on one ward alone. Subteam B, Inadequate Supply of Nurses. It was also stated by Lady in White, if we lack nurse-like absentees, where would get fill-ins? What happens here is that the supervisors are the fill-ins and sometimes they personally offer staff foods and free bus fare without the knowledge of the administration. Subteam C, high admission rate during COVID-19 pandemic. This subteam can be best supported by C. Another thing or another worst thing is the death during covid were so numerous that sometimes the coffin just lined up in the ward to collect the dead patients. Team 3. Preventing attrition with management strategies. Subteam A. Compensation of nurse staff during high attrition. Lynn stated, over time and their benefits, which includes their hazard pay that needs to be compensated. And everything just to make their service better. Subteam B. Nurse aid contribution in meeting quality care. Now stated, we don't have overtime pay right now. We don't ask our nurses to do overtime work. We just let our nursing aid take over with supervision of the licensed nurse. Lastly, Subteam C, workplace environment effects on nurse turnover. Lady in White stated, if they see that you have composure, you will serve as the role model to, the, to your department. Because if you don't have a good self-structure, they'll see you differently. Then, most importantly, is self-respect. In conclusion, the study identified that nurse administrators use various strategies such as providing adequate salaries, tending to staff needs, creating service for efficient feedback, as well as pro providing financial compensation for overtime pay and paid vacation leaves, even going as far as employing nursing aides to prevent stress and burnout due to heavy workloads in the staff, hence creates a desirable workplace environment in preventing attrition with their staff. Recommendation 
hospital administrators consider increasing the salary and benefits for nurses practice effective employer retention measurement nurse administrators foster techniques for communication professional advancement and employee training satisfaction nurses make monumental decision and improvise guidance university Produce more efficient, hardworking, and skilled nursing students that will stand their ground even though faced with vast challenges along their nursing practice. Nursing students internalize the role as nurses, which is to serve the people and the country. And lastly, future researchers. Wider the scope in future studies that may include several hospitals, including those in far-flung local hospitals. And these are our references.